So we're back. And guess what? You can't make any 80s or 90s jokes anymore. It's the early 2000s now. Same rules apply. Like, we're just going to be doing the same thing now, but it's early 2000s. So let's go. So this is what I want to go over, because let's just say after the abysmal uh, trash that was called uh, Thomas and the Magic Railroad, some stuff got put into place. We got a new producer and new executive producers. And yeah, now this is when they're going completely original, since all the, the railway series is already adapted. But now we got like a writing staff. So these stores are kind of all over the place, but this is why. And yeah. This is like all the new people who are going to like take over. So if I if something sounds off, this is why. Okay, let's get into it. So yep, same rules, same rules. Yeah, but it it's the goat salty. So this extra one calling you rusty, man. I love salty so much. The salty glazing is is going to is going to feed families. Is what I'm gonna say. But Bill and Ben are like, oh hey, I don't know, you can't be glazing, bro, like that. They was like, ah, yes, finally. But it's always like, bruh, why am I at the quarry? I want to be at the sea. Bill and Ben are like, oh, nah. We're going to send the troublesome trucks on this guy. But it turns out Salty songs can actually help him work with the trucks. And Bill and Ben are like, bruh. They was like, hold up, let him cook. And Salty wants to hang up with Sea Breeze. Because like, at night, he's like, he doesn't hide in his shed. He just stays out because he wants to be by the sea. Salty tries to explain how he does to Bill and Ben, but they can't do it. So Tom has like, whoa, 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 this is going faster than I expected. But Bill, may, maybe it's Bill and Ben are like, ah, it was actually all salty. So Sir Tom Hat sends Salty to the docks, and in conclusion, oh yeah. Salty's like, gonna, Salty set the tone, let's just say that. So the next Harder Reach and Rescue episode 2. Oh yeah, casual steamy racism, lol. They really, they really did not like this man just because he had an extra crane. So yeah, we're at the docks, and random dock stock must be lit during this time. Like, bro, a bunch of episodes are just taking place at the docks. Cranky's bring Harvey, and everyone's like, bruh. And Harvey has to prove his worth, and also Percy. This one, Percy became dumb. He was really kind of getting dumb, but now he's going to ask a bunch of dumb questions. The Percy downfall needs to be studied in schools. And yeah, Birdie is not funny, guys. And yeah, Harvey's semi steam team is bullying him, and Tom's like, oh, nah. Tom still has his character development. Harvey's like, he goes talk to Sir Tom have a situation. Sir Tom's like, nah, we need you, fam. And Percy's having tr problems with the troublesome truck, so he ends up derailing and crashing into the road. But Birdie is there taking the men to evaluate Harvey, because Harvey's not a permanent member yet. They still have to test out his crane. So Sir Tom kind of pulls up and gets Harvey to save Percy, and the railroad board's like, oh, yes. So now Harvey's officially part of the railway, and now the team is praising him. Thomas says that says like they're okay with, with these with other type of trains, but he proceeds to be re racist to di future diesels multiple times. In conclusion, the riders are uh, kind of inconsistent, I would say. Uh, yeah, they may be frauds. No sleep for Cranky, my goat Cranky. We we stand Cranky on the channel too. The Cranky sal salty dynamic needs to be studied in schools. So we get to the docker, and Cranky's like overworked. Which, like, he's always overworked, respectfully. But Cranky beefs with Salty, Bill, and Ben. So Bill and Ben um, expose Cranky for being lonely. And they are kind of right. But Cr Salty tries to tell a story, but Cranky says to shut up. And Bill and Ben are like, nah, let him cook. So Cranky des destroys the porn Ingo, trapping the engines. Bill and Ben sends blood. And Sir Tom and here's a suit. Well, News will try and get a new suit. So the engines will stay overnight until Harvey can come in the morning to fix it. Salty tells another story all night, and then Harvey finally arrives, and Cranky breaks his program to be nice. Tom's like, bro, what the hell? In conclusion, Cranky gets trolled by the Sodor group chat regularly. So, episode 4, a bad day for Harold the helicopter. Percy and Harold are having their beef again. Yeah, yeah, we finally escaped the docks. Well, for like an episode. We're gonna come back again. Percy is beefing with Harold the helicopter again. The single box is broken. On Percy's mail run. Sir Tom Hat's like, just trying to meal and has to send Harold the helicopter. Bro, I feel bad for Sir Tom Hat. This dude is just trying to live his life. And these trans are just messing it up. Harold is just trying to like Percy a little. But Percy ain't having it. Harold's pilot suggests to take the mail and batches for save. Harold takes a whole load so he isn't late. The single box is fi fixed, but Harold leaves the server. But the net's too heavy, so bro just dies of ligma in a haystack. Harold is fixed the next day, and Percy trolls Harold. In conclusion, are we finally friends now? 
Episode 28. We'll be back after a quick break. Yeah, we're back. Episode 5, Elizabeth the Vintage Lori. Yeah, it turns out Sir Topham Hat has a deep basement. Like, that's how I'm going to say. Yeah, we keep deporting to the docks. So, basically, Tom wants to bring us up to the docks, but he's, uh... He breaks down, but they need to go to a shed for help. But inside, there's a, a vintage glory. Yeah, and yeah, Thomas and Lee stops having beef with Elizabeth, but they're able to get the party for Thomas. So they just, I just just take Elizabeth to get the part. And later on, Sir Tom Hat, like Thomas arrives for Tom the Hat. He's and he's like, "Bro, why are you late?" Thomas is like about to snitch on like Elizabeth because he doesn't like her, but she appears here. And yeah, it turns out this is Sir Tom Hat's friend, and he fi- has her fixed up. In conclusion, Sir Tom Hat prequel show when like this man has a deep basement, especially when you go into the Glen lore. Like, like, bro, what has he not told us? Episode six, the Fog Man. Yeah, this is where it kind of gets sus because the train's like uh riding on detonators and getting tickled. Kind of sussy, if you ask me. It's Misty and Thomas goes off on the detonator because they leave on the track to help you detect fog. And yeah. And he likes it, but Sir Tom has a foghorn, a new one, but no one likes it because like loud. And they're kind of scared because Cyril gets scrapped because that was like his main job. And Mercy has to deal with it, but the foghorn makes the mountain shake and the track is collapsed and the foghorn is crushed. So now Thomas can't see anything and, he, and he's dead. And Toby's coming on the line, so he's screwed. But Cyril arrives and places the detonator. And yeah, this is when I did research and it turns out fog detonators actually exist. So this isn't, isn't just some sus fetish, guys. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, so Tom Hat allows Cyril to survive for now. I both said so it's seven and eight are pretty important. Because this is when we get into Jack and the Pack lore. And yeah, this is these two episodes are, are the early pilot. This is the pitch. So yeah, Jack jumps in. We finally get to meet Jack. Jack and the Pack review when. I will review this. This actually kind of looks good, not gonna lie. But yeah, it turns out Max, there's a guy named Max who's an op because Thomas is taking Jack to like the quarry. But Jack tries to help out and is sent to the four minute banksman. So now he's like sitting around trying to do some jobs and he's sent to Alfie. Do that Max a jump trunk and Max tries to kill Jack. But Jack is like, no, you don't mess with my homeboys. Later Jack dies of Ligma, but in conclusion, Max is still an op. Like bruh. When I say dies of Ligma, it usually means they get into an accident, like bro, ain't that hard. Episode eight, a friend in need. So Tom is still thinking about Jack. And yeah, we're this is definitely this was definitely part of the pitch for Jack and the Pack. Like, these two episodes. Like, there ain't no way. So, like, Max is being an op, but Jack almost dies of Ligma. Because, like, he's about to do something, but then he realized he shouldn't rush in. Because that was what messed him up last time. But Ned casually destroys a bridge. Because he's going under, but, like, his thing is, like, clips the side. And Thomas might die. Because, he's because like, he clipped the side of the bridge. Even though Thomas is, like, at the top of the bridge, like, going across. So, Jack immediately just goes up and holds up the bridge. And, like, they're able to work together, but Tom survives by backing up that back, but the bridge caves in. And Jack thinks he's gonna get his ass beat, because he technically did run in, but he doesn't. But, yeah, in conclusion, everyone demand me to write a Jack in the Pack review, because I might legitimately forget. Uh, yeah, now we're going to episode 9 to 12, probably last episode for today, depending how fast the time is running today, because I don't want to keep you guys too long or too short. But, yeah, we'll be back after a quick break. We're back after the quick break. So episode nine, it's only snow, and yeah. So this season, there they, there's a lot of throwback. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, it's snowing, and yeah, Thomas always hates snowplows. Like the whole group chat trolls him. Yeah, Thomas gets the worst snowplow of all time. Like it's hella old and stuff. Thomas has to fetch a Christmas tree for our town. It's on Toby's line. They have to work together. But yeah, there's a rock underneath the snowplow which broke his uh other snow underneath the snow which broke him you know, the snowplow, and it destroyed everything. Tom still attempts without a snowplow, but they make it there. And, yeah, so, so Tom calls Thomas, he's like, good job, bro. You gotta keep, you gotta keep working without a snowplow, though. We don't want anything else. But Thomas like, cool. So, in conclusion, Thomas all the way. And episode 10, Twin tro- Trouble. So, you know how Bill and Ben had that episode where they beefed a while back? This is basically this, but with the twins. Donald and Douglas see Trevor. He's been having trouble with Hay, which wrecks one of the twins on the track, because it fell on the track. They beef or continue on their way, and Sir Tom has to pick an end and help Duck. One of the twins goes off, which makes Sir Tom have confused, because they still have beef. And Duck even gets caught in the crossfire. Douglas is lonely, and they're still beefing. Donald dies of Ligma by crashing, but, like, Duck can't help because he ain't strong enough, so he gets, uh, Douglas to help Donald. 
Yeah, this episode was just like pure twin studies. In conclusion, Bill would have let Ben die and vice versa. Those two are ruthless. These two are tame compared to those two. Episode 11, The World's Strongest Engine. Oh, yeah, this one is fun. This one might be my favorite one. This one is hella goofy. The trucks are the MVPs. The Charleston trucks have beat up Henry for the millionth time, so he sent away to work. Diesel has to help because there's no other engines. The steam team doesn't like that. Diesel is at the dock, and it's also racist. But the Charleston trucks believe in equal rights, so bully Diesel. So Diesel is baited into pushing multiple trucks to prove he's better than Henry, because they were basically saying that Henry is better. Percy and Thomas are watching this, and the Trollsome trucks have their brakes on while Diesel doesn't know. But the trucks know, so he attempts to pull after failing to push. The trucks that keep catching strays, and Diesel just falls and dies. Sir Tom Hat brings back Henry for roasting Diesel, and Henry can take the truck with Diesel sent home, and in conclusion, the Trollsome trucks believe in equal rights and equal fights. <laughs> episode 12, Scary Engines. We finally got a Halloween episode. It really took the 2000s to bring a Halloween episode, guys. Crazy. And yeah, we get a Halloween episode and they have a ghost engine lore. And Thomas, Percy, and Duck have to go to Smell's Yard to go. Well, no, mainly just Thomas and. Yeah, Thomas, Percy, and Duck have to go to Smell's Yard to collect some snow with a ghost engine looking Halloween. Because it's on Halloween night and Edward told this, tells these stories every year. So Don had things they just, they just want to see the fireworks. So Thomas roasts Percy for being scared. Duck is like, bro, these kids need to shut up. They have to leave an engine behind the fence of jobs. So. Duck volunteers Thomas get back at him. Thomas back up into the chain and other things, so he runs in fear. Duck and Percy are laughing, but then Thomas speeds by them. But Thomas isn't there for the fireworks, so Percy leaves the show, and Thomas is hiding the shed, so Thomas and Percy make up, and in conclusion, bro said, what? So, uh, yeah. We'll hit the conclusion afterward after a quick break. So far, yeah, this series is all over the place. Yeah, we're back after a quick break, so what we'll just be covering the conclusion afterwards. So yeah, this one, they have to make everything up on the spot. And yeah, easily my favorite addition would have to be Salty and the Jack and the Pack crew. Salty because it's salty, but it's... Do, do I have to explain Salty lore? He's the goat. That's that's it. And yeah, Cranky and Salty, one of the best duos in Thomas and Friends, not gonna lie. Oh, also the Jack and the Pack crew. That's a very important introduction if you know Thomas Lore, Jack and the Pack show. Important spinoff. And yeah, this series is taking time to focus on all the relationships and more. So that's my basic lineup for now, because I have a part two to explain more on these thoughts. And yeah, we gotta review the second half, and please leave your thoughts in the comments below in series six, because I don't really know about the top of the series yet. But yeah, I usually try to look for themes, but there ain't a theme yet, bro. It's mainly just uh doc stuff or whatever. But yeah, see you all later in peace. <laughs> yep. I we're back. I know it says part two, and this will be one video, but I'll have to put in a part three slideshow because there's so much information, bro. I don't even like this season either. Like you're gonna see later, I I am indifferent to series six. Series six could uh be a fly on the wall. I would not care. Well, that's that's a lie. Jack and Salty can join the squad anytime, but apart from them, uh, yeah, I don't care. Introduction, uh, yeah. We are back because of the Duncan video. Uh, we'll be able to speed through, like, the later half. So, yeah, I'll just do it. Two, jump through episodes 13 to 16. Episode 13, Praising the Haunted Mine. So, yeah, it turns out they have to, like, decorate some stuff for the stations. Like, it's a station decorating competition. And first he is sent to, like, get some decorations. And bro is sent- They sent him, like, literally midnight to do this. Like, at, at late at night. You heard on this during the day? Like, bro. And, yeah, I remember this episode because it has some scenes from Boo Boo Choo Choo, I believe. Like, some some scary horror stuff I remember seeing from Thomas and Friends when I was a kid. So, yeah. Indifferent to the series, but I guess I kind of need to keep it because of that. And Donald and Douglas just mess with Percy. Like, once he comes back saying, oh, no, I ain't doing this. Donald Douglas is like, bro, just do it. And Percy sent back to the haunted mine. And yeah, I remember this episode for sure. Now Percy's driver's like, oh no, we got a snitch. And they leave and tell Susan on Pat. And Susan on Pat and Pat's like, bro, go back. Turns out the stuff he's taking are just gnomes. So it's fine. In conclusion, Boo Boo Choo Choo review when? In my birthday month, we'll do that. Episode 14, Middle Engine. Uh, So this is like... the th So there's like a thing in engine lore where uh, you're put in the middle and you have to... Pull and push at the same time. 
So no one likes that because, you know, double the work. And Aerie and Bert are trolling Percy when he's trying to do this, and they always make him a middle engine, and James is like, oh, no, nah, th that wouldn't happen, bro. That, no, nah, no. Nah. And, like, and it's usually Henry's supposed to be taking this stuff, but, like, like, what happened was Henry pushed Percy in because, like, of the middle engine BAS, and Henry gets your eat into a pole thing. And yeah, basically, the manager snitches. Tom, Tom has like, what the hell? Stop that, bruh. And James like, oh, no, that would not happen to me. But Harry and Burr are like, oh, yeah? We'll do it to you, too. And James refused to move, so Percy is set and roasts James. And James gets, uses wind breathing. And, yeah, James is like, I'm teaching this engine how to be a middle engine. Like, bruh. Goofy as shit. Episode 15, James and the Red Balloon. It's summertime, so, you know, people love coming to Soda during the summer. And Tom has to get this, like, air balloon, you know, take people on tours and whatnot. James already is like, oh, no, this is an op. Tom's like, oh, yeah, this could be an op and take away our passengers. And everyone literally just stops what they're doing and watches in the air. Tom and James are still hella mad, though. The balloon needs hot air because it, like, falls, like, in front of Percy. I mean, James, what the hell? And then James uses wind breathing because he, he hates the balloon, which fixes the balloon. And James is one, Tom's like, bruh. And, like, James snitches to Tom Hat, but so Tom, Tom has like, bro. Why would that take away your passengers, bro? And in conclusion, James just keeps catching strays. <laughs> Episode 16, Jack Frost. It's very winter, and Percy and James are sent to bring cold to stations. And Thomas references Jack Frost. Because, like, this is some, like, freezy thing. And, like, he basically, like, teases Percy and James, and they're like, oh, no, this can't exist. And Percy's is left in the siding, because of because he gave the last of his coal to the villagers so he'll get more in the morning, but he's still scared. And yeah, Albro is giving us a lamp, and, like, he frees up and looks like Jack Frost, so P James sees Percy mistakes him for Jack Frost. And, like, even Elizabeth pulls up the next day and makes a joke about that. <coughs> Bro, my nose is kind of chill from myself. What the hell? Percy has home and find James bragging about Jack Frost lore. My conclusion, Percy just trolls him back, because, bruh, James needs to keep catching strays. Chapter 3, episode 17 to 18. We'll be back after a quick... 17 to 20, we'll be back after a quick break. Okay, we're back after that quick break. In episode 17, Gordon takes a tumble. My boy is just catching strays. My other homeboy just keeps catching strays. First first debut for Bo in the 2000s. What does Bro do? So basically, Salt, so Salty starts messing with Gordon. Because Gordon... Uh, it's like foggy, so Tom has to assign extra jobs for people to, like, send freight cars. And, like, Gordon thinks he's better than Salty, which, uh, no. Salty's better. And, like, Gordon just, like, actively... He loves going fast. And, like, he's just going... He actually gets put on, like, just on the... Line where his volume is going. I forgot the name, but, yeah, that line. He just put on that line. And the sign doesn't even go slow, but Gordon can't read it. And the branch probably has the thing, and the branch line over right here. Can't okay, handle those weights, so Bro crashes into like some farm, and so now he's having to go out the aisle. I don't want to apologize, and in conclusion, Salty's still on the beat. He's still one. Salty on 
Okay, we're back after that quick break. And episode 21, Thomas Percy and Squeak. It's someone's concert held in Sodor. See, this is what I'm talking about. We really went from a earlier summer episode to a snow episode to another summer episode. What the heck? For people doing a timeline for this show, I feel bad for you. Because this would legitimately make no sense. At least I'm never going to do that. So they have to collect a famous singer named Alicia Boti. So the engines are like beefing over it because they're like James is like I want to do it, Gordon wants to do it, but Thomas is chosen for this because he has main character energy, like duh. And back at the washdown, they all continue to keep beefing. And like Thomas decides to get washed before Percy because he wants to look perfect. But turns out there's like a squeak noise and on his like uh, carts, but it's oiled. It's still making noise, but at least the voltage screen with Thomas right everything breaks because she complains about like Thomas is coaching or something, and, like there's a mouse. Percy arrives there, and at least Bodhi compliments Percy because he's dirty and that's a proper engine. And Gordon's like, oh, nah, bro, you can't be doing that. So Percy gets to take her and literally hear the music, and some them had given the mouse a home in the sheds. What a good guy. Episode 22. Oh, I have this episode on DVD, actually. Uh, Thomas and the jet engine. Gordon is having to be that guy being the fastest on Sodor, but Thomas has to get a jet engine to take the airfield, and Cranky gives... Cranky and Thomas beef, so Cranky accidentally activates the jet engine and anger says Thomas on the trip, and everyone is informed of this, and the whole steam team sees this. Bertie really wanted to race Thomas in that moment, too, bro. And Thomas is just like, I mean, Gordon's like chilling, and Thomas beats him, and he's like, wah, wah. and they just let the jet engine just run out of fuel, so he arrives right back in the station, and everyone just trolls Gordon. In conclusion, Gordon just keeps catching trades in the 2000s, like, bro, he can't catch a break. Episode 23, Edward, a very useful engine. So, Edward got a, Edward's got to reestablish the status quo. Because everyone's just calling his age into question. And Percy's, like, sad and tells his driver why he's sad. And Sir Tom has informed of the issue, so he puts a plan in place. He moves Edward Stephanie. Well, my note. <coughs> managing passengers, where Duck is in his place managing trucks. And the trucks smell blood. And Stephanie's kind of happy about this, but... Duck gets stuck in Gordon's line, but it's too late to need a back end so Edward is summoned. They return to the station and Gordon's troll, and Sir Tom had revealed his point to Gordon, and Gordon applies to Edward. In conclusion, Sir Tom had continues winning. Like you like people forget Edward has been with Sir Tom Hat since he was a little boy. Like you don't just like this his uh his like homeboy like that. Like you don't do that in front of Sir Tom Hat, bruh. Gordon Gordon deserves always coming in. Episode 24, Duncan Duncan. <clears throat> Say that five times fast. <clears throat> Bro, my nose is shot. Rusty, Reneas, and Scarlowi pull to the fucking help Duncan, and he hates the inclined railway. We already went over this, but quick recap. He's a certified hater with the slate cards. Yeah, bro would definitely like this Trex of his human. Rusty knows the slate cards are gonna get him back, and they're made of slate, no shot. I say cars pull Duncan, he falls to his death, so I was like, bruh, seriously. And this is like a really weird departure. Like, the last few engines are just like on these guys, and they were they exist last minute. That's kind of messed up, but okay. Oh, yeah. Episode 5, I mean, chapter 5, episode 25 to 26, we'll be back after a quick Oh, yeah, we're back. Up into a quick break last two episodes. For Rusty Saves Today, episode 25, Rusty works at the quarry, but he has to also help clear lines. So, but that makes him kind of late for his quarry job. So Sir Tom has shuts down the line of Renee and Sir and it's too dangerous and stuff. So he moves him to the quarry, and no one is happy about this. The quarry is blasting for two weeks, so they have to be moved. They spend two weeks working on the old line, and Elizabeth's like, run. Rusty baits Elizabeth into helping. Sir Tom has impressed by the work, and in conclusion, Rusty's a goat. Episode 26, Faulty Whistles. Duncan has to take some freight cars and the headmaster. Peter Sam loses his whistle. Duncan isn't funny, and so Duncan whistles to Elizabeth, and his whistle comes loose, so he targets Tara, and the headmaster uses his organ instead. And once he gets the whole group trying to laugh at Duncan, Pierce sounds like, bro, don't be doing that, bro, don't be doing that. Oh, yeah, we'll be covering this theme thing first, then we'll be moving to part three, but I'll still be in this video, guys, don't worry. Just slides are weird like that. Alright, let's just get this out of the way. Like, let's just do this, bro. You remember the rules, right? We haven't done this for a few months, but let's just do it. Thomas, uh, cameo, salty, super, a bad day for the helicopter, a person hunted mine in middle engine, parents, Harvey to the rescue, no see for cookie, Elizabeth, the Vinci glory, the fog lane, Jack jumps in, a friend in need, Holy snow, twin trouble, the world's strongest engine, scary engine.
Doc Frost, Gordon Lee Campbell, Percy Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy the Squeak, Thomas and the Jet Engine, and Edward the Very Useful Engine. And Bro just like changed the stuff of Harley Race. He's like, hey, are they being racist? Oh, yeah. And I was super cranky. Thomas was like, oh, no, cranky again. But he's being nice. And like, he really starts a whole plot of Ellis in the very huge glory because his is sort of being discovered. And in the fog, when Bro almost died, bruh. Jack jumps in, he makes a new friendship with Jack and brings him to the pack, and in front of Need, he finally gets to see Jack complete his character off and join the pack. And it's only Snow, Thomas messes with Snowplow again, and in Quinn Trouble, Thomas sees the Beast and worries, and in World's Strongest Engine, Thomas sees the Diesel War, because, like, Diesel's being goofy, and Scary Engines, Thomas is, like, trolling too much, like, this is way too much, bruh. And Thomas read Balloon, he, he's like, oh, no, he didn't do it, like, oh, no, this balloon might be bad. And Jack Frost, he basically just trolls Percy again. And Gordon takes a tumble, he, he's like, he's watching Gordon, like, bro, why are you doing this? And Percy's chocolate crunch, he kind of messed with Percy were being clean, and that kind of messed him up. And yeah, Thomas Percy squeak, bro, got overshadowed by Percy, R.I.P. And Thomas and Jet Engine, Thomas outran Gordon, and was a very useful engine, he witnessed Edward Slander. Oh, no, nah. Edward Slander cannot be accepted in this house, bro. Edward cameo, Salty Secret, Elizabeth Avengers Glory, Percy's chocolate crunch, Thomas Percy and squeak. It appears in How to Rescue, It's Only Snow, Scary Engines, and the Very Useful Engine. And Bro witness, Bro really participated in the bullying of Harvey. Like, oh, no. Nah. It's Only Snow. Bro really best with Thomas, too. <clears throat> My nose, bro. Scary Engines. Edward really told his scary stories, causing nothing. And Edward Very Useful Engine. He really got his sweet uh, payback on Gorbin. So, let's go through Henry. I mean, I got this big ass script here, why not? Uh, appearances, Harvey's to Rescue, It's Only Snow, World's Strongest Engine, Gordon Takes a Tumble, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Thomas and the Jet Engine, Edward a Very Useful Engine, Family of Salty Secret, No Sleep for Cranky, A Bad Day for Hill the Hair Clopper, The Fogman, Twin Trouble, Scary Engines, Percy and the Haunted Mine, Middle Engine, James and Red Balloon, Jack Frost, Thomas, Percy and the Squeak. And Harvey to Rescue, <clears throat> Bro just really loves everyone just piled on Harvey for like no reason. Well, that was like, frame and all. And only so Bro would really help Thomas get roasted over snow plows. His disappearance in World's Strongest Engine was like very pivotal. And yeah, Gordon really got trolled by Bro and Gordon had to tumble. And he really interacted by roasting Percy and Percy Chocolate Crunch. And he and he rested with his team team and trolled Thomas and Thomas and Jet Engine and yeah. Everyone really sounded every clean girl for no reason. Every really useful engine. That shit was infuriating. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll take a quick break. Three is hard already. Uh, Gorbin. Cameo, Salty Secret, No Seat for Cat, Cranky, The Bad Day for Harold, The Helicopter, It's Only Snow. Uh, yeah. Twin Trouble, Scary Engine, Freezing Hot in Mind, Middle Engine, Jack Frost, Harvey to the Rescue, The Fogman, The World's Strongest Engine, Gordon Takes a Tumble, Percy Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy and Squeak, Thomas and the Jet and Thomas the Jet Engine, Edward the Very Useful Engine. And Bro really, obviously he would hate Harvey, like bro. And then Fogman, Bro really witnessed his Fogman, he was like, oh no. And Bro was really happy to see Diesel get cooked in the World's Strongest Engine, bro. And yeah, his L was in, in Gordon Takes a Tumble, and he roasted Percy so much in Percy's Cockpit Truck. Like, this season is full of Gordon one-liners. Like, he really says Dirty Percy and calls him a peasant, bro. Gordon, it, Gordon's highlights were lit. Thomas Percy in the squeak. Gordon really wants to take the Elizabeth Key for obvious reasons, but don't worry, he gets to kick the queen a few times. It's fine. And Thomas and Jet Engine, bro, really outdone by Thomas, and he really bullied Edward and Edward a very useful engine, despite his name being the title. That's on you, Gordon. That's a common L. James, so, uh, he, uh, cameo is Salty Secret, No Sleep for Cranky, A Bad Day for Harold the Helicopter, Elizabeth the Vengeance Lori, Twin Trouble, The World's Strongest Engine, Scary Engines, Percy and the Haunted Mine, Edward a Very Useful Engine, and uh, Appearances, Harvey to Rescue, The Fogman, It's Only Snow, Middle Engine, James Red Balloon, Jack Frost, Gordon Takes a Tumble, Percy Chocolate Crunch, and Thomas Percy and the Squeak. Of course, bro, we threw my Harvey. He's, he's got a slightly reddish look, bro. Anyone who's slightly red, James will beef with if they ain't, like, you know, one of the smaller engines. I'm not a Fogman, James, he's a fog engine. 
Bro, what is wrong with my nose? <clears throat> I get choked out of the Bro. And it's only snow. James trolls Thomas. In Middle Engine, James is trolled by Aaron Burt. James in Red Balloon, bro, beef through the balloon. And he really got scared off by Percy and Jack Frost. And Dora takes a tumble, bro, has to take work with Gordon and trolls him for it. Bro trolled Percy and Percy's Chocolate Crunch. And Thomas working the squeak. James will take a Lisa Bo tea. And he doesn't troll. He, like, talks with Thomas, Thomas with the engine, bro. Like, oh, no. Nah. Okay, Percy. Let's try and do Percy. Um, Percy, Cam, there's an only salty secret. It's only snow. The Percy uh, glazing was real, but he was he's trash, low key, but whatever. Appearances, no sleep for Cranky. Harvey the rescue. A bad day for Harold the helicopter. The Fogman, the world's strongest engine. Scary engines, Percy the haunted mine. Middle engine, James the red balloon. Jack Frost, Gordon takes a tumble. Percy chocolate crunch. Thomas Percy and the squeak. Thomas and Jet Engine, ever the very useful engine. Bro really was with Thomas when he realized Cranky could be kind and no sleep for Cranky. And he's, he's the reason why, like, Harvey's able to stay in Harvey to the rescue. And, like, Bro really beefed Harold again over a meal on a bad day for the helicopter. And he, Bro almost died to prison the Fogman. And he's in the World Strongest Engine because he just witnesses these get trolled by trolls from trucks. And it's scary engines, him and Thomas beef. And he gets the gnome and puts in the haunted mine. If you don't know me, a uh, veteran's discount. And Percy is, is the middle engine and gets trolled by Aaron Burt. Bro really got confused and James in the balloon. Like, he's so confused this season, it's crazy. And Jack Frost, Percy trolls James. Gordon takes a tumble, he wins the goal for him being goofy. And in Percy Chocolate Crunch, both shrimp, shrimp chocolate. Thomas freaking squeak, he takes Alicia Bouti. Like, bro just popped up and got the job. If it was that easy, I were like, I'd hit, bro. I, I'd try and do something like that. Like, pick a, pick a celebrity. Like, oh, we can't do that anymore. <coughs> bro. <coughs> Thomas in the jet engine. Percy hangs out with Thomas, and Edward, a very useful engine. Percy witnesses Edward's line. Like, he snitches and causes that whole spiel. I feel bad for anyone watching this video. We're 20 minutes in, we're not even halfway done. We're not halfway done. I'm sorry. But, uh, Toby, uh, he cameos in A Bad Day for Harold the Helicopter, Scary Engine, Percy the Haunted Mind, Jack Frost, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy the Squeak, and appears in Only the Fogman, It's Only Snow, and Toby Had a Little Lamb. And Bro was hit by the de new detonator in, in the Fogman, and he works with Thomas in It's Only Snow because he has to take a Christmas tree. And bro saved some lambs in the snow with Toby had a little lamb. Also, we reached Duck, and I also have to inform you this list might grow a bit, the team team list. Because Emily is joining next season, I believe. But I'm decided to instate a rule. If they have been a member of the team team, I will still continue to put them in the team team category. So even if Toby when Toby and Edward get replaced and all that, I will still include them here. Like they will be they will just be legacy members. And when Henry gets you, like, bro, I will not remove them. Like, this is the OG squad forever and ever. But I'm excited for Emily review because that was my original Steam team growing up. So I don't know if that, that was actually good or not because uh, I really like Duck. So maybe that was a bad idea. Who knows? So and with Duck, he cameos in A Harvey to Rescue, A Bad Day for the Helicopter, Elizabeth the Vintage Lori, It's Only Snow, The World's Strongest Engine, Prison Haunted Mine, Middle Engine, James the Red Balloon, Jack Frost, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, and Edward the Very Useful Engine. He appears in Twin Trouble, Scary Engine, Toby had a little lamb. We'll have to pull, put up with Donald Douglas in Twin Trouble. And he helps Percy troll Thomas in Scary Engines. And then Toby had a little lamb. He helped Toby plow the snow. And congratulations. You are now halfway through this video. So take a break. Save progress here, soldier. Because we'll be back and it'll get worse. See ya. Alright, we're back. I told you there's a lot. Like, I printed out another set of, like, script for me to read. It's 11 pages, but it's, like, another 10 pages, bruh. So, all in all, I printed over 30 pages of work. People better like this, bruh. Oh, yeah. Uh, chapter 7, part 1, character analysis. Donald Douglas. They really tried to spam these twins, bro. They really gave them beef and twin trouble, haunted... Mine, they were like trolling Percy and all that, and Red Balloon and stuff. They were just like Water Balloon being sussy. Yeah, they appear in Twin Trouble, 
Chrissy in Haunted Mine, James Red Balloon, Cameo, Harvey to Rescue, A Bad Day for Hill Helicopter, Elizabeth Avengers Lauren, Tom with the Jet Engine. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, Bill and Ben, they cameo, Bad Day for Hill Helicopter. Yeah, they were bullying Salty and Salty's Eater. They, they saw him as an op. And they, yeah, they were in Salty Secret, No Suit for Cranky, and Buffer Bother. And those even cranky. They really exposed Cranky for being lonely. And Buffer Bob. They really had a beef over Buffer's role. Only those two. Only those two. See, Diesel. Bro really po showed up in one episode. Get World owned in the only, his only appearance. The World's Strongest Engine. And Mavis Cameron and Bad David Hill the helicopter and Percy's Chocolate Crunch. And appeared Salty Secret Buffer Bother. And like she was the one who brought in Salty the Sun Salty Secret. And like Mavis was a suffering Buffer Bother. Like Bill and Ben, you cannot deal with those two. Yeah, and Ari and Bert finally made their appearance in the show officially. Like, they were kind of from another here, and they came kind of twin trouble in the middle engine. And they really messed with Percy and James, bro. They salty, bro. They catch his strays. And then Scarlet really came with faulty whistle, appears Duncan Duncan, Rusty saves the day. And bro really had to deal with Duncan's antics and Duncan Duncan, bro. And he worked with Scarlet to restore the line, Rusty saves the day. So, yeah. Uh, we'll move on here after a quick break, part 8. Part two character analysis for all right. Part two character analysis, yeah. And Renee's cameo the rest of the day appears Duncan Duncan faulty whistles, and yeah, this is more like Duncan vs Duncan Duncan faulty whistles. Renee seeing Duncan get trolled. Peter Sam fault appears faulty whistles and Rusty said day cameo, and yeah, faulty whistles more Duncan vs bro. Duncan only appears Duncan Duncan faulty whistles, and bro was just committing crimes like he messes up his whistle and he messes around, bro. Rusty is my real MVP, though. He appeared in Duncan Duncan, Rusty Saves the Day, and Faulty Whistles. And Bro really had to witness these Duncan antics in Duncan Duncan. And yeah, this all takes place in Rusty Saves the Day. And yeah, also apparent Faulty Whistles. We'll just get to the end. You can skip ahead, guys. It's just for, like, record keeping. And oh my gosh, Troublesome Trucks. They count Duncan Duncan, appear in Salty Secret, Harry to Rescue, The World's Strongest Engine, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Buffer Bother, and Everett Verity's Engine. This was actually kind of cool. Like, we can see them actually were Salty and Salty Secret. They trolled Percy and Harry to Rescue, and they mega trolled Diesel, World's Strongest Engines. Equal rights, equal fights. And Percy's Chocolate Crunch, they trolled Percy again, and Buffer Bob, they really trolled Bill and Ben. And Everett Verity's Engine, they really trolled even more, bro. They were MVPs and so cool. Sorry about that. Time I was recording this like around the uh, NBA finals going on. Yeah, really early, but like I'm bored. And yeah, I might have Celtics fan. You know how Celtics fans are. They need to be locked up and studied, quarantined even. And lastly, Birdie, Cameo, Scary Engine, James Red Balloon, appears Harvey to Rescue, Tom's a Jet Engine. Harvey to Rescue, Bro got triggered by Percy and Tom's Jet Engine. He really tries to race, to race Tom's again, like after like a whole decade of not even trying. Like, bro. Bro. So, we'll just do part three character analysis for nine, because, like, I already, like, messed up earlier with the pause, so I'll, I'll apologize and, like, do some of this for you. And, yeah, Trevor only appears to win trouble and can with Elizabeth the Vintage Lori. Rose Hay really led to an opening beef to Donald Douglas and twin trouble. And, yeah, Cranky, um, cameras in the Fogman, appears hard to rescue, no super cranky in Tom's jet engine. Cranky first met hard and hard to rescue, and no super cranky involves him being trolled by Bill and Ben. Alright, so, we're gonna, there's six of on this list, but should I, I'll just do them last, like, maybe, yeah, I'll just do them last. So, Harold appears in a bad day for the helicopter, Percy's chocolate crunch, and gets thrown in the hay in a bad day for the helicopter, and he gets Percy dirty in Percy's chocolate crunch. See what had appears at Edward of a very useful engine, Camus hard to rescue, you know, super cranky, James the red balloon, Percy in the haunted mine. Gordon takes the tumble and Thomas breaks in the squeak, and Bro is really roasting at the end of the very useful engine. So let's just do Sir Tom Hat now, because he takes up the majority of the page wreck. He only counts in Jack Jumps in, but this dude appears at risk. Salty Secret, Harvey's to Rescue, No Sleep for Cranky, About David Hill, the Helicopter, Elizabeth, the Vintage Lloyd, the Fogman, It's Only Snow, Twin Trouble, James the Red Balloon, Jack Frost, Tom takes the tumble, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Edward the Very Useful Engine. Duncan, Duncan, Rusty saves the day, the world's strongest engine, scary engines, Percy in the haunted mine, middle engine, buffer bother, Toby had a little lamb, Percy engine, per, Thomas Percy in the squeak, and Thomas the jet engine. So yeah, bro really saw Cranky suffering, it's like, I, right, I'm gonna fix that. And yeah, he was like, there for Harvey too, and Harvey didn't rescue, and bro was getting cooked. And he had to roast for Cranky, no for Cranky, and yeah, he pulls up, like, he sends Harold in a bad day for the helicopter. And, like, turns out he's connected to Elizabeth and Elizabeth eventually to Lori. And Ro really 
bought a fog machine in the fog one. That was probably one of his worst investments because it was gone within like a few minutes. And he has to talk to Thomas and tell him to sell his snow plow. And bro, bro had to pull up to Mr. Donald Douglas into in trouble. Bro, he's like, oh no, these two are ha- having shoes. He had to reassure James and James in the red balloon and cause the beef between and Jack Frost. And he has Rose Gordon. Gordon takes a tumble and he rolls Percy and Percy's chocolate crunch. He rolls Gordon and Edward a very useful engine. He has Rose Duncan and Duncan Duncan and Rusty helps pick up the old mine Rusty of the day for Bro. And Will strong this engine, he has to roast Diesel and send him away. A scary engine, Bro takes Thomas and Percy off and he gets, he sends them off and he gets Percy to have some Gnomes. We're talking Percy and Hobbit Mind. Yo, remember the Gnome meme? That was the cinema. Middle engine, Bro had to roast Percy and Buffer Bother, Bro had to deal with Bill and Ben. So we had a little lamb, where we sent this quest by him. And Thomas, Percy, and Squeeze, Bro got embarrassed. The time to engine, bro really said how Thomas get ricocheted to like towards death or something. I will actually take a break this time, I'm sorry. Yeah, next is 10, chapter. Yeah, chapter 10, part 4 character analysis. Alright, we got into Harvey. He appears in Harvey to rescue Nosey for Cranky, and he, that's when he debuts Harvey to rescue saving Percy, and he helps with Don to win No Sleep for Cranky. Elizabeth appears, Elizabeth and the Vintage Lori. Jack Frost, Rusty saves the day, and Faulty Whistles. And like Elizabeth randomly found Elizabeth the Vintage Lore and she brings hold of Percy and Jack Frost. She also wrestling Rusty of the Day and Faulty Whistle. She's also found there. Like when, when Duncan is there. And Alfie, this is when we get Jack of the Pack stuff. Jack jumps in a friend in need. Another part of the pack. Salty, salty secret. No super cranky. Gordon takes a tumble. Camera's only still it's Harvey to the rescue. And Bro is home so he works in trucks and salty secret. He chose cranky and mostly for cranky. And Rose Gordon and Gordon takes a tumble. Jack appears and Jack jumps in front of me. This is when he starts the story, like jumping when he's too eager and helping the pack. Over the excavator appears and Jack jumps in front of me, another one of Jack's homeboys. And yeah, we'll get into the next part because it's also pretty quick. Um, 11, part 5, character analysis. So, um, yeah. Uh, Max, Jack jumps in front of me. Like, this is the Hoffman is in the Jack Pack squad. Byron appears, Jack jumps in, cameo, friend in need, another member of the pack. Isabella, Jack jumps in a friend need appearances, and another part of the pack squad. Kelly is another part of pack squad. Jack jumps in a friend in need. Ned, a friend in need. Jack jumps in cameo appearance earlier, and he's part of the pack. And Jack jumps in. So the Fogman, he only appears in the Fogman, but cameos in Harvey to rescue. No sleep for cranky. It's only snow. Scary engines. Percy in the haunted mine. Jim's red balloon. Going to take a tumble time jet engine. This is a guy who owns a detonator, so I want to get sussy about. So we'll get to 12 part 6 character analysis like later if I ever print out the rest of the script. So yeah, see ya. Um, I'm back. I have the last like 10 pages. So, uh, so like more pack stuff. Jenny Packer, Jack jumps in a friend in need. Uh, Alisa Boti, Thomas Brittany Squeak appearance. Count it's only start on Jet Engine. It's like the singer. Foreman, Jack jumps in a friend in need. More pack BS, but like. Let's move on to this stuff, because this is going to get, this is going to be, like, pretty fast, I think, hopefully. Let's see how this works. Hi. Yeah. Farm McCall, cameo, Toby had a little lamb. Tiffany, cameo. Percy Han and mine, James Red Bloom, Edward and the Very Useful Engine. Farmer Finney, cameo, the Fogman, Faulty Whistles. Butch Cameron, James Red Balloon, Gordon takes a tumble. This is Kindly Cameron, it's only snow. Scary Engines, Gordon takes a tumble. Pretty Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy and the Squeak, Tom the Engine, Edward a Very Useful Engine, Yancey Cameo. It's only snow, Scary Engines, Percy in the Haunted Mind, James in the Red Balloon, Percy Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy and the Squeak, Edward a Very Useful Engine. Annie and Clarabelle, Cameo, Elizabeth the Vintage Lori, The Fogman. It's only snow, Twin Trouble, The World's Strongest Engine, Scary Engines, Middle Engine, James Red. Balloon, Jack Frost, Gordon takes a tumble, Pretty Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy and Squeak, Ever, Ever in a Very Useful Engine. Henrietta Cameo, Bad Labor Hill, Copter, The Fog Mets, Only Snow, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Toby Had a Little Lamb, Oliver Cameo, The World's Strongest Engine, Scary Engines, Percy the Haunted Mind, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Ever in a Very Useful Engine, Tiger Moss, Cameo, James and Red Balloon, Thomas the Jet Engine, Farmer Trotter, Cameo, Twin Trouble, The World's Strongest Engine, Scary Engine, Percy Haunted Mind, Middle Engine, James Red Balloon, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Thomas Percy's Creek, 
Thomas the Jet Engine, Edward Very Useful Engine, Tom Dipper, Cameo, Edward Very Useful Engine, Bulgy, Cameo, Hard to Rescue, Terrence, Cameo, The Fogman, Pulpy Whistle, Jim Cole, Cameos, Elizabeth Adventures, Lori, Twin Trouble, James Red Balloon, Cho- R- Chocolate Crunch, George, Cameo, James Red Balloon, Bridget Hat, Cameos, Harvey to Rescue, Nosey for Cranky, Scary Engines, Percy Haunted Mines, James Red Balloon, Gordon Takes Tom, Tom Tom's Squeak, Freshman Lady, Cameo, Harvey to Rescue, Nosey for Cranky, Gordon Takes Tom, Will Thomas, Percy the Squeak, Dowager Hat, Cameo, It's Only Snow, and Thomas in the Red Engine. Alright, we'll be starting up here on Favorites after a quick break. Bruh, I had to go back and edit some stuff, but I... Yeah, this is the best one. Mainly because it starts out normal. The trucks are assholes being up Henry. De- they send in Diesel because, like, so Tom Hat can't find any other Diesel that isn't named Diesel, but whatever. And it's average Diesel BS, but my troublesome trucks, the troublesome trucks for heavy people, they really bully Diesel to heck, bro. <laughs> and, and, yeah, they bully Diesel so much. That was the funniest stuff. And they really just help the series for their own pleasures. I respect the grind. Favorite character stuff? Jack and the Pack Rubra. We're gonna... This is very promising, and yeah, there is technically a clip hanger in Series 6, so... What am I writing the review, huh? I feel like we should protest for that, but that's just me. Series 5, 6 review. Uh, Percy has... Percy's downfall and asking dumb questions need to be studied, bruh. That is getting annoying and such a huge shift from the last few seasons, and we're suffering from too much character syndrome, bruh. When we had new character back in the day, we had a whole arc. Now they're turning one down, but hey, anything to make money, right? Conclusion after word 16. Oh, well, this series 6 for you. A mixed bag honestly could be worse. All in just go exists. Big world, big adventures ever exist. Series 12 animation exists, but uh, hopefully it gets better. Like, I know the studio only goes to series 7, but whatever. Yep, Victor Review is coming. This is gonna hurt. This is physically going to hurt, but we need to do it. Look, I'm building up to a certain character, and we have to go like this, okay? Yeah, I'll see you next time. See y'all later, peace.